There are so many YouTube videos on the 25 things you need to do to set your iPad up just right. And truthfully, those videos do contain a lot of good tips. But a lot of that stuff can be overwhelming, you know, jumping from one thing to the next. In this video, I touch on just four simple steps you can take to organize and tame your iPad. I've road tested them and they work for me. My guess is they'll work for you too. Stick around. Hi, my name is Rich. Today's video is entitled, How to Organize Your iPad, but maybe a better title would be How Rich Organizes His iPad. I say this because there are a lot of great ways you can organize your iPad, and you should set it up in whatever way works best for you. But what I'm going to show you today is the method I use on every iPad I own. It's taken me a while to figure this stuff out. I like my iPad to work for me, not the other way around. So in today's video, I'll show you how to clean up your home screen and then set up a new wallpaper, how to customize Control Center and tame that, that thing has grown huge, how to add back helpful apps to your dock, and then how to add some useful widgets to your home screen. Those are the four steps. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I wanna show you is just how to clean up your iPad. If you look, this is how, you know, when you buy a new iPad, it comes, there's the app library over here, and then you probably have a page of apps, and then another page of apps, and some stuff on here, and you've got the standard wallpaper that Apple puts on there, and I like to just get rid of every bit of it, and I'll show you how to do that. First of all, the first tip is that it's best to start the page closest to the app library. So anyway, you can tap on here on each icon, and you can tap Remove App, and then you can either remove from home screen or you can delete the app. I don't want to really delete these apps. I want them. I just don't want them on the home screen. So I'm going to put remove from home screen, and now it's gone. Of course, it's still over here in the app library, so I haven't gotten rid of it. But now I want to do that, and you can do that for each and every app, but that takes forever to do that. So the best way to do it is to tap and hold, and then just grab a one of the icons and jiggle it a little and then begin tapping and all these things will go right underneath your finger they're all there and this is the quickest way to get rid of everything so now we've got them all underneath your finger and then the trick is just to drag them over to the side of the screen till you get to the app library drag them back into one of the squares and let go and like that you've got this page gone so now your app library page two is gone. So now we're gonna clean up this home page. I'm gonna tap again. I'm just gonna get rid of these widgets. We'll remove it. We'll remove, remove. You can't do, you gotta remove these widgets one at a time. And now I'm gonna get rid of these apps. I'm gonna again grab it and Wiggle it a little, and then I'm going to tap these and then get rid of them as well. I'm going to drag it over and put them into the app library like that. And now we've got a clean home screen, nothing there. Now we're going to go over to the Today view, and we're going to tap down here and hold, and we're going to get rid of these widget stacks over here too. Just one at a time. You've got to remove widgets one at a time. And now we're back, and I'm even going to get rid of some of these widgets that are over here in the dock. So I'm going to grab that, and then I'm going to tap just like we did before. I think I'm going to leave the calendar and notes in there because I want that. I'm going to go over to here, and again, I'm going to put them in one of the squares, and we're done. And now we've got a good starting point. We've got all the apps out of the way, and it's just easier to me to go over here and to look for an app you can always just scroll down like this and you get a list of your apps and you can find them that way. So you're not getting rid of them, you're just getting rid of the clutter on the screen. I like to have different home screens and I'm going to show you, this is a beautiful home screen and if you like it you're good to go. But I'm going to go over to the Photos app and I'm going to type Photos to bring it up. There we go. And I'm going to find a wallpaper that I downloaded from the internet. I like this wallpaper. It's kind of been growing on me. I'm going to tap the little share button down here 
and I'm going to go to use as wallpaper. I'm going to click OK. I think I might change that a little bit, make it a little bit nicer. I'll add a widget, maybe the weather widget, like that. And then I'm going to click add. And now I've got my new wallpaper and I'm good to go. So that's all there is to it. Now you've got your iPad clean and easy to look at. Okay, next up is just how to customize Control Center. If you want to get to Control Center, you just swipe from the top right. And prior to iOS 18, this is all you had in Control Center. But now you've got a whole bunch of different places and things you can scroll and Control Center has become way more powerful. But again, for me, it gets so cluttered with stuff, I can't figure out what's going on. So I like to get rid of everything and then just bring back what I use. So to do that, you can tap and hold, and now you've got these little minus buttons, and I'm gonna get rid of that calculator, that stuff. I don't even know what half of this stuff is, but I'm gonna get rid of it. I do like to keep dark mode and I like to keep focus mode there. So now I've got that done. If I scroll down, I really don't want that music player there. Go down again. I'll get rid of this connectivity stuff. And now I can tap over there and I'm done. Now if I want control center, I just bring it down and I've got dark mode on, dark mode off. I can raise and lower the volume and I can raise and lower the brightness of the screen. And those are the main things that I use, but you can always add stuff back to your liking. So if you, again, if you scroll down and you get Control Center open and you just sort of tap and hold, you can go to Add Control like that. And now you can go back and put anything back in there that you want. So maybe you want a screen mirror. And by the way, when it shows up in a little circle, you can just widen it like that so you can actually see what it is. I'm too old. I don't want to have to guess what every icon means over here in Control Center. These icons I know pretty well, but these I don't know too well. So that's how you do it. That's how you clean up Control Center. And I would encourage you to clean all that clutter out of there and then bring back just the things that you use. And you'll find that is the best way to use Control Center. Okay, next up is bringing back important apps to the dock. Now you can bring apps back to your screen, but there's a reason you might want them in your dock, and that is if you use split screen. For example, if I open up Apple Notes here, and I wanna open up the calendar in split screen, I can just raise up from there, grab the calendar, and bring it over and put it in split screen mode like that. And now I've got my notes and my calendar over here. And if I want to get rid of the calendar, I can just sort of grab that little spacer in between right there and just slide over. And now I'm back to just notes. If this app, the calendar, is somewhere up on the screen, so we'll take it and we'll move it up here. And now I open notes and I want to split screen my calendar there's no way to get to it. I can't get to it because it's it's up on the screen. So there is a way to do that. You can tap right here and you can go split screen and now you can choose your app so you can do it that way. So there is a way to get to it but that's a lot of tapping to me. I'd rather just slide up from the bottom and be able to drag the calendar over. So that's why it's important to get the right apps in the dock and I think notes and calendar are two that are important. And if you'll notice, we've got apps over here. And if we go into settings and we go to home screen and app library, this will say show app library and dock, show suggested and recent apps in dock. I don't like to see my recent apps, so I'm gonna turn that off. And when I go back, that kind of reduces the clutter. So now what I'm gonna do is put what I think are important apps in the dock I'm going to go to productivity and I'm going to put tap and hold reminders and I'm going to put add to home screen. I'll go back over again. I'm going to add my email. Tap. I'm going to add to home screen. I've already got calendar there. I kind of want Safari, so I'm going to tap and add that back to my home screen. In settings, I'm going to grab and I'm going to add that to the home screen as well. 
So now I'm just going to drag these apps down into the dock like this, one at a time. And now I have in my dock the apps that are most important to me. Of course, you can put any apps you want in the dock. The ones that are important to you are the ones that need to go in here. So now, again, you have a clean home page and you've got the important uh, apps you want down in your dock. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is just how to add some widgets to your home screen because sometimes widgets are very handy. I use them for informational purposes. I'm not always tapping on them to get into the app. I like widgets that supply information to me when I'm looking at the iPad. How you do that is you tap and hold. We'll go to Edit, and we're going to go to Add Widget. And I think I'm going to add the Weather app. So I'm going to add hmm, maybe, maybe that widget. And I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go to Add Widget. I'm going to add the weather again. And now I've got it twice. And I'm going to Edit, Add Widget. And I'm going to do it yet again. And I've got three widgets there, but here's what you can do. I'm going to drag that widget right on top of the other, on top of the other. I'm going to tap, and now I've got three widgets that I can scroll through, but they're all the same. So now I'm going to tap and hold that, and I'm going to go to Edit Weather, and I'm going to change my location to Myrtle Beach. And now we've got Myrtle Beach, and now I'm going to tap and hold again. I'm going to go to edit weather and I'm going to go back again to Franklin where my parents live. So now I've got weather from three different places and I can just scroll through those bits of information. And by the way when you create a stack it will want to add other things to it. So again if you tap and hold and you tap edit stack you can turn off smart rotate and widget suggestions. And now you have just the widget that you want. Likewise I'm going to add one more widget We'll add a widget here, and I'm going to add calendar. I'm going to put that up there, and I'm going to add one more widget, and that's going to be reminders, and I'm going to put that up there. And that's it. Now I've got my widgets to where I know the things that I have to do. I can take a quick look at my calendar, and then I've got some information about weather on here, and I think that's just super handy. One last thing I'll show you is that you can customize this just a tad more, and I like the new look that's come out in iOS 18. Again, if you tap and hold, and you go to Edit, go to Customize, now you can turn your icons dark. So I'm going to turn them dark. I don't like it darkening the screen, though, so I'm going to tap this little sun uh, icon right here, and that'll lighten it back up. And then I'm actually going to use large widgets, and they get bigger. And now it's easier for me to see the larger widgets, but I just like this look uh, a lot. So now I've got a clean iPad, I've got what I want in the control center, I've got my widgets set up, I've got my important apps in the dock, I've got everything I need over in the app library, and that's it. That's just keeping it set up very, very clean. So that's pretty much it. Nothing complicated, and you end up with a nice, clean, functional iPad. At least I hope so. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.